Hey guys, Zephanix here, and today we're going to look at Origin. Basically, Origin is EA's new PC um, digital distribution client. We're not going to look at the website per se, but we're going to actually look at the actual PC client. So, it's definitely um, something that um, a lot of people were wondering about, and so I figured, you know what, go ahead and do a video about it. Let's go ahead and take a look around here. Now, before we get into it, as you guys see on the screen right now, Star Wars The Old Republic is now available for pre-order. The Zephyrnix pre-order his? Of course he did. What, you, what did you, you think? What did you think? I pre-ordered mine, first chance I got. Fantastic game, I can't wait to play it. Um, that being said, though, let's go ahead into Origin. And before I begin, I want to cover two things that I thought were very ignorant of a lot of PC gamers out there. Um, basically, EA had already stated that they will not be in competition with Steam. Now, with that being said, um, EA has went ahead and pulled some of their games from the actual um, from the actual uh, Steam. Excuse me, they pulled it from Steam and um, pretty much made it to the point where if you want to buy it, you'll have to buy it on Origin. Now, a lot of people out there took that as a declaration of war against Steam. I gotta say, that's not true. That's not even remotely right. Basically, what they said was this. Hey, these are our games. We went ahead and um, we support these games. So come buy them on our store. That's basically it. That doesn't really mean it's a kind of a competition thing. It's just, hey, we provide these games, we got our own store, we want you to come to our store and play it, you know, and buy the game. I don't see that as direct competition, especially since they're only selling EA games. It's not like Steam. Steam sells more than EA games. They sell Valve games, which, you know, is owned by the company, but they also sell, like, Take-Two Interactive and um, Square Enix games. They sell all those games, while uh, Origin only caters to EA games. So that's not really a competition, you know? That's people creating their own store to um, sell their own stuff. That's pretty much all that is. Anyway, um, that being said, let's go ahead and continue. Um, I think this was a really good time to go ahead and release Origin 2 because you have Star Wars The Old Republic coming out, you have Battlefield 3 coming out, and you also have um, Mass Effect 3, which is coming out soon, and as well as um, Dragon Age 3, which might be coming out either later next year or early the year after that. So no matter how you look at it, they're going to be making a lot of money very soon. So, by all means, EA did a very good job at when to put this out. And anyway, I digress. Let's go ahead and take a look at the client. So, if you look in front of you right now, we have the client available. Now, first thing that you have, this, this actual is the, um, the main product page right here, the first page. I think it's a little bit backwards over here. Let me explain to you. The first one right here is, the first thing that you have up here is the featured things, which I understand and I think is really good. You know, and then... Thing is, though, is at below here you have points and time cards, which we'll get into in a minute. And then you have games under ten dollars, games under twenty dollars. I think that's a little bit backwards, especially since if you look below that, you have new releases over here. Now, personally speaking, I think it should be reversed. I think new releases should be at top, and then you also have, uh, or maybe you should maybe, um, yeah, I think new releases should be at top, and this one should be either on the right hand side, the left hand side, or maybe at the bottom. I don't think putting it right there is the best place to put it. This too, you know, especially some of these things, I think that, I think that they still need to go ahead and put their things in different order. But mind you, this is only a beta. So, I mean, yeah. Uh, of course, you got the point systems right here. Now, for those who don't know, you can go ahead and still get points for different things. You can go ahead and buy your, like, Bioware points or buy your um, Sim points here, you know. So, just in case you guys are into buying uh, Sim store stuff, or your Bioware stuff, there you go. Um, me personally, no, but you know, you might be. Anyway, so right here you also have, um, that being said, <laughs> that being said, regarding these Bioware points, remember, Star Wars The Old Republic is coming out, and you may have to take advantage of this, so just in case, um, you may want to know that. Anyway, up here, you also have the popular products such as Sims, Battlefield, Need for Speed, Metal of Honor, and of course, Bioware, which is the reason why I'm actually starting to um, go ahead and support Origins because they have their own dedicated Bioware store. Um, this is not just a Bioware theme store like it is on Steam. It's an actual uh, store that is actually governed by Bioware. So, yeah, well, of course, it would be because EA owns Bioware. So, yeah, I'm definitely liking this a lot, you know. It's not too much on it, and I'm pretty sure they're going to do more with this. Mind you, this is only the beta, so this is not the final thing here. So, on the left-hand side, you have the featured product of the page, and then on the right-hand side, you have all the games. For example, the featured product of this page is um, Mass Effect 2, the Digital Deluxe Edition. 
while on this side um, you have Dragon Age Legends not really sure why this is actually here but whatever um, that's pretty much it now let's go ahead and take a look at some of your actual profile your profile sadly to say isn't much I mean, I mean the story is decent and it has some cool stuff but once you get over to this stuff it's not much now mind you once again this is only the better so uh, you have your name here your status and your games of course you can enter your profile anytime you want to and then right below here you have your games uh, which by the way if you click on my games you also have your games over here now notice the shape of the games I like this the way the shape the game is actually shaped I like this it's kind of like a miniature version of the actual box instead of like uh, how Steam has it where it's a, like a you know a horizontal rectangle you have a vertical rectangle here so I think that's actually pretty cool here now you of course you can click here and get some, a little bit more information on it including download the manuals which manual all of them that's right it actually doesn't just give you one manual dude uh, you click on the manual and it gives you every single manual in every single language I thought that was like hilarious anyway though it is cool anyway another thing I want to say is this and I, I thought this was like really crazy so I was actually where was it at I saw right here right redeem a product code so I was like well, why not, right? So I was like, so I put in a product code, right? And I was like, well, I do have Battlefield Bad Company on Steam. Well, what would happen if I put that product code? So I went ahead and put in the product code, right? So I copied the product code from Steam, copied it, put put it right in here, um, and this one, and it worked. It worked. So you don't actually have to go ahead and buy your stuff from Origins, but you can go ahead and buy it so far anyway. I'm not sure if that's going to change anytime soon, but you can go ahead and buy the stuff on Steam. And then, like, say for it, like, if there's a big discount on it, and then take it on Steam and take the product code and post it right here where you can go ahead and buy it digitally. I mean, not buy it digitally, but you can go ahead and have it on Origin. I thought that was really cool. You didn't have to pay an extra amount. Not only that, but if you look here, this is my Battlefield Bad Company game right here for um, Steam, right? You see it? Okay. Notice that this one says... The uh, digital deluxe edition. That's right. I didn't pay anything extra. Basically, I put in the code and it say, um, which one is this? Is this the Battlefield Digital Deluxe Edition or is this at the regular edition? I said, Digital Deluxe Edition. <laughs> no, seriously, I did that. And so, yeah, I wound up getting the Digital Deluxe Edition for free, basically. So I thought that was actually pretty interesting. Um, that's pretty much it there. So let's go ahead and take a look at how the game actually looks when you're actually in game. All right, so here we are in the game here, and of course, like um, and like Steam or um, Xbox Live, you know, the PC version, you can go ahead and hit the home screen or whatever you choose it from, and there you go. Now you have the origin screen. So let's check out what's here with the origin screen. Um, this one you can go ahead and take off anytime you want to here. I leave it off for now. Um, you got pretty much you're limited to the web browser, which you have you pretty much your own web browser that you can go ahead and browse while you're in the game. You know, that's kind of like standard when it comes down to um, clients this day and age here. So, uh, of course, that you have your settings here where you can go ahead and modify your settings and things of that nature, downloads and installs and things of that nature here. And, of course, you have your friends list, which sadly I have no friends on um, Origin right now, mostly because no one really knows too much about the client, but... Um, I think except Huntmaster Flex, but here you go right here. So it tells you, obviously, if you're playing, it tells you which game are you playing in the game right now. So overall, like I said, for no matter how you look at it, it's actually pretty good here. So it's pretty much all that it is. Now, um, my thoughts on it. It's not bad. I, I don't think it's a bad thing at all. I don't. Um, I will say this, though. Um, I don't think it's bad. I really don't think it's bad at all. In fact, I think it's really cool. Um, I think Origin so far is pretty good. Um, that being said, Origin has a lot to go. If they're trying to go ahead and make something equivalent as Steam, they have a lot to go in terms of you know how good it's going to be here. I, I, I that's just my thoughts on it. You know, um, they have still got a couple of things that they need to go ahead and iron out, such as placements and you know for different things there. Aside from that, I'm good with it. It's actually pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and start using um. Origins at least at least for my EA games, which quite frankly don't have too much of a choice. But I mean, quite I mean to be honest with you, I haven't bought any of the Mass Effects or the Dragon Age yet, and I do want to buy them. So I figured, why not um, Origin, right? I wanted to pick up as well Star Wars: The Old Republic. Um, I already pre-ordered the one for at um, GameStop, 
But then I found out recently that I can take the money that uh, from there and I can buy one of those like small EA um like gift cards, those EA gift cards, and put them on Origin. So that way I can go ahead and take the money I put on pre-order and I can go ahead and actually buy the actual game on um Origin. So I guess I'm going to go ahead and start using this. And be honest with you, I'd rather be doing digital distribution than actually having to deal with the crap of like, installing the game. And, you know, I'm just saying. Anyway, I there's your look at uh, Origin. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think. Now, like I said before, one, it is in beta. Two, it is not. I repeat, not, I repeat, not in competition with Steam. So kind of let that go, okay? You guys have a good night. Zeph out.